Hi everyone, I'm James Otter of Otter Surfboards, where we design and make wooden surfboards and wooden belly boards. Today, I'm going to talk to you about our belly boards, the two shapes that we typically make, why we make them, how we make them, and how we use them in the ocean. First of all, what is a belly board? Now you might have seen these used at your local beach in a really similar way to foam body boards, but being made out of wood, they're far more sustainable and longer lasting. Now we offer a couple of different shapes, this being our traditional one. Boards have been shaped like this and used for over 100 years now. They are typically four foot long, and they're a foot wide up the front end and they taper down to 11 inches at the back end. The traditional boards were designed and used in waist deep water, jumping into waves so that anyone and everyone can feel the thrill of riding a wave up the beach. All of our belly boards are made using our cedar and poplar from the sustainable forests that are close to our workshop. Our traditional shape and our performance shape both have three layers in them. The top layer and the bottom layer all have the wood running along from nose to tail with a middle layer and the grain running across the board to give it real stability across its width. So they stay nice and flat through this midsection with a lovely lift in the nose that we laminate in that stays in there for the lifetime of the board. I love using my traditional belly board, but I wanted to work out a way to go and enjoy some bigger, more powerful waves. And to do that, I tweaked the design of our belly boards to offer this performance shape. It has a little bit more extra width up the front end, so that as you kick into waves, it generates lift quicker. But then it pulls into a narrower tail at the back to drop into the water and give you hold when the waves get a bit more serious. It's the same profile as our traditional belly board with this flat section and the little lift in the nose. The lift in the nose really helps make sure that you don't bury that nose as you're taking off on steeper waves. I've been riding my performance belly board now for over seven years and I love the way that with that extra little bit of width, as I kick into a wave, I can really pull on the outside rail to engage the inside rail, pull my body up onto the board and fly along a high line faster than anything else I've ever been on. I find my performance belly board works best when I grab my pair of swim fins so I can swim out back and get some extra propulsion to kick into waves. These are the swim fins I use. They're made by Dafin and you can buy them in our shop. I love how comfortable they feel but how much power they give me as well when I'm trying to catch those waves. As you can tell, we offer a few different designs and if you want to get your hands on one yourself, you can either join us on one of our one day workshops to make your own or you can have us custom make one for you. If you have any questions at all about our belly boards, feel free to get in touch.